lift the curtain of time. It is your destiny. Hey, we haven't done uh, gift shops yet. I think it's time. There are actually a lot more gift shops in, in Disneyland than I, I was under the assumption. I got something like 40 here that we're going to rank today. They really want you to buy merchandise. Speaking of which, we're not going to buy merchandise, uh, but we are going to rank roughly 40 gift shops in all of Disneyland. We're not even talking about Downtown Disney or California Adventure, just Disneyland today. That's a lot of gift shops. There's plenty. You see, we, we have it broken down here. Wait, let's go to the corner. Okay. Wow, my gosh, that's always so fun to edit. We've broken them down to each respective land that the gift shop comes from, and we're just gonna we're just gonna start start doing it. Tier lists are still in, guys. I don't care that it's four months, five months into 2021. We're keeping it going, okay? Because we said so, it's still cool. I mean, that's that's pretty true. What do you want to start with here? Well, let's start at the top. Let's start at Main Street. Let's start at Main Street. There's a bunch in Main Street. Main Street and Galaxy's Edge both have too many uh, gift shops. They're starting with Disneyana. Disneyana is right inside of Main Street. It's a little art gallery, uh, and they also sell some of the pieces. I'm so glad you're here because I would not know what any of these gift shops were. Look, Most of them. It's Disney. On oh. Oh. I mean, how how often do you go to Disneyland and you're like, I need the new That's good point. Cinderella painting. The only time I've ever got, my family has ever got a big piece of art. We did it at the gallery that's now closed in downtown Disney. So. Well, that's sad. Hey, uh, what, I can't even put in D. It's cool, but I don't care. Yeah. All right. Let's keep moving because uh, we have 40 to get through. Yes. Let's go right to Galaxy's Edge because this is the other one with so many. Oh, okay. my gosh. You still haven't even seen Galaxy's Edge. I haven't. I haven't been to Disneyland in so long. <sighs> so sad. This is uh, who? What, what's what's even her name here? I have it. I have it somewhere. Savvy's workshop. She's a girl. Clearly, Savvy. Maybe Savvy's a guy. Oh, I thought you were calling the store a girl. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> uh, now this is where you make lightsabers. That's cool. Is it like a game? Like, don't they? It's an experience, yeah. and it's two hundred dollars, and you need a reservation. So I hesitated to even call it a, a gift shop. Uh, and there's like this actor and they walk you through a building and you can choose all your pieces. Very inaccessible, but it's very cool. So I'm gonna kinda, that's what I'm thinking, C. Yeah, I, I could even be persuaded to be because like- I don't have $200. It's a show, but I'm not gonna spend $200 for that. So C is fine. Let's do ooh, Fantasyland. Fantasyland also has quite a few. The top one here is the Bippity Boppity Boutique. I've always wanted to go there and get a little princess makeover, but yeah. by the time I realized that I loved princesses, I was much too old. Yeah, this is another kind of experience. It's for kids, they go in, they get dressed up like a prince or princess. You can buy, you know, a hairdo, a tiaras, dresses, uh, the, the whole works. It's, it's kind of cool. It's really cute and really fun. Um, they do your makeup too. What? They Can do they do mine? <gasps> no, you're too old. Oh, well. Well, it's not for everyone. It's only for little kids. So, but it's really cute. So I'm so conflicted. It's either like a B because it's good and cute or a D because it's, you don't go there very often, especially if you don't have kids. And if we're also calling it an experience, I think the lightsabers might be cooler. C is right in the middle. Might as well just put it in C. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna grab another right off the top of Main Street here. We got the Mad Hatter. Uh, Main Street on both sides, they're kind of just like one big store all the way through, but they're they're broken apart into different stores. But the Mad Hatter is the section, I think it's on the Emporium side of the street with uh, hats and Mickey ears and the works. And they have probably the biggest selection of hats Maybe, inside yeah. the park, I think. Outside the park, probably has more downtown disney the, maybe the world of disney probably has more but i think inside the park this is where you're gonna have the biggest selection um and it's good everyone needs a mickey ears i firmly believe that uh, is it exciting enough to be above a d can we be harsh because i mean it's just a store with hats in it uh, yeah sure d there's so many here, we gotta be, I think we gotta be Yeah, harsh. we gotta be strict. Like, where would I personally, Bram, me, go shopping? Probably, I don't know, maybe. Where are you gonna buy your hat? Uh, 
right here. For example, at the Briar Patch in Curter Country is a location right alongside Splash Mountain. You know, when you have a fast pass for Splash Mountain and you're like, where the heck does a queue start? <laughs> uh, you do pass by the Briar Patch. Oh. Um, what kind of stuff do they sell? Hats? Yeah, hats. It's just a, it's a Mickey ears store. Really? It's only hats? It's uh, only Mickey ears, I think. Maybe some other uh, pins or whatever. Let's see. I might have uh, the Briar Patch hats and Mickey ears. Why would they call it the Briar Patch? I don't know. Why don't they sell Splash Mountain merchandise? It's a little like log building and it's cute. I can picture it, but I can't recall. I don't think I've ever been in there. It's worse than the Mad Hatter. Can we be honest? Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's do another Main Street. Main Street, the Emporium, the Emporium. This is the world of Disney, but pretty much inside Disneyland. The most chaotic store you'll ever be in in your life, but it uh, is great. I like it. This a. is where you get your souvenir. Yeah, A, I mean, that's, it is the Emporium. It's not S, right? It's just, a, no. it's not like fabulous inside. And to be honest, part of the only reason I'm putting it in A is because in my brain, the Emporium is also the Mad Hatter and is also a bunch of the other stuff on Main Street. Like it's just the yeah. culmination of all of it, but it's good. Okay, hey, that's good. I'm gonna grab uh, another Galaxy's Eds. Uh, Eds, another Galaxy's Eds. This is the Droid Depot, which is Where pretty much- Where you make a droid. Exactly like the lightsaber thing, but it's less of a show. You know, there's conveyor belts going around, there's droid pieces everywhere. It's $100 a droid. You, okay, but that's you, a lot of money. You choose from scraps and the theming is cool. But do you have to pay to get in? Do you need a reservation? No, no you can just walk in there. That's better. That's yeah. already better than the lightsaber. You can paper. walk in and, and check it out and say, wow, look at all the droid pieces and going around. And it moves around, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's a real little droid you can, with the remote oh, yeah. control? I believe so. Well, that puts it in B. How about we try a New Orleans Square? Pieces of eight. The Pirates of the Caribbean uh, gift shop, essentially. Okay. It's got pirate merchandise. It's got uh, toy swords, eye patches, pins, limited uh, things. Uh, lots of exclusive things in that store that you can't find in, in other stores, which I think gives it some bonus points. If it's exclusive things. Some of them, yeah. Then it can be in B. Otherwise, yep. I don't want an eye patch or a plastic sword. Your pick. Oh, that's hard. Let's just stay in New Orleans for one more. All right, New Orleans, Point, Point Royale. No, it's uh, Port. Royale. Uh, I believe that this is the, um, oh, Port Royale. No. Oh, okay. I have it here in my notes as Royal Port, which is probably why I was confused right there. Uh, Royal Port or Port Royale, Curios and Curiosities is the one that's attached to Pieces of Eight, uh, but it's the Haunted Mansion side of it. So it's got Nightmare Before Christmas merchandise and some Haunted Mansion trinkets and, and, and gizmos and whatnot. That store, that part of the store is really small. They're just small. But there's always so many people inside of it. If I was to buy a product between one of these two stores, I would probably buy something at, uh, at Port. Point Royale. First, because uh, a lot of that limited Haunted Mansion stuff is very, very cool. Mm -hmm. Like it is ride merchandise and I'm, I'm all for that. Yeah, it's better than the other pieces of eight part. They're kind of the same store, but I, I agree. I would put that one in A. Okay, uh, Main, Main Street. Street. Disney Showcase. Uh, now, Disney Showcase is right towards the edge of, of Main Street, I believe on the right-hand side when you're walking in. It is the seasonal stuff, so uh, holiday merchandise will, will mostly be in there, uh, scattered elsewhere too, but mostly in there. And when there's a new drop for a hot item, I remember the only time for sure I, I bought something at Disney Showcase or my sister bought some Splash Mountain Funko Pops that were being sold there. They're a hot commodity item. So it's kind of that rotating goods kind of store. When you're walking into Main Street, what side of the street is it on? Right, the I believe. right side? Yeah, I think so. What's on the other side that has the dioramas? Yeah, that's the Emporium. Which, you know, the Emporium, that might bump it up to S. Cause it has, I've watched, I spent hours of my life watching those dioramas. That's a good point. It can go up to S. Bam! This Disney showcase can be an A. Maybe even a B, it's just kind of got like carpet floors. I think it attaches to the Disneyana. You have carpet floor. I do, and I uh, they're dirty. I need a vacuum. That's not Disney's fault. B? I'm just saying the theming is nothing special. Okay. <laughs> it's just a store, maybe even C. It's literally just a store. Okay, well, but what the items are part of the ranking. So if they're good items. It depends on the season. Christmas. Unker. Do the Grinch? 
I'm gonna grab something from Tomorrowland. The Star Trader. D. Oh my gosh, I was gonna say E. <laughs> you know what? You know, maybe even... I'm, let me let me tell you. Okay. Star Trader used to connect to Starcade, uh -huh. which doesn't exist anymore. It's true. Star Trader used to just be futury kind of cool, fun stuff. What Star Trader is now is exclusively a Star Wars merchandise store. And uh, we already got a whole land of that. And why I'm putting it in E is not because it's inherently... They don't sell just junk. There is a little bit of theming in there. Mm -hmm. But you can buy the same, if not better, products in Galaxy's Edge where the theming is over the top. Star Trader needs to not sell Star Wars stuff anymore. No, it needs to sell... Tomorrowland themed things. Or, you yeah. know how much they would sell if they sold like retro Tomorrowland items? Yes. Yes. Or yeah. just like freaking space stuff. Freaking like just space stuff. Just stuff with stars on it. You tell them. Just anything. Put the star on there. Put put a star on it. Okay. I buy it. They say the Star Trader. Why aren't you trading stars? Wars. It has such a cute sign on the outside with the it Mickey's. Does. It really does. Put that on a t-shirt. Okay. I'll buy it. This is Fairy Tale Treasures. It is kind of more of a gift store version of Bippity Boppity Boutique. They just sell princess dresses and tiaras. Adorable. And it's pretty cute. Let's see. See? Yeah. Yeah. I might even say D for my eyes because I would li literally not buy any. I probably wouldn't even go in there. Okay, you can go. It could be D. I want to do Pooh Corner. You want to do Pooh Corner. So that's our, our last critter country here. Pooh Corner is at the exit to Splash Mountain, uh, right in the kitty corner of, of critter country there. Pooh Corner. Sells Winnie the Pooh merchandise and food and snacks, and there's a lot in that little store, and almost all of it is Winnie the Pooh. I love it. It's so cute. It smells good, like candy, and it's, uh, I like it. Put in B. Yeah, put it in B. Let's go back to New Orleans. This is, uh, what do they even call it? Sorry, it is La Masquerade d'Orléans. Sorry, everyone who's French in the whole world. Uh, it is just a Pandora jeweler is really what it is. Oh, it says Pandora. And they have a couple Disney exclusives charms and whatnot. The... It's for somebody. It's not for me. Do you like expensive jewelry? No. Because, I mean, I, I'll buy you some if you want it. Okay, I like it. I was, I was hoping you'd keep going with the bit. But, yeah, I think D, maybe even E. It's... It's just a Pandora It's nothing store. special. Yeah, you could just go to the mall. Pandora is not a bad product, but it's not a special store. Yeah. And that's what we're ranking. So E is good. Animal Kingdom has the better Pandora. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so this is the Resistance Supply. We're actually out of the custom droid lightsaber kind of stuff in Galaxy's Edge. Thank goodness. This is on the far left on the maps. I guess that would probably be make it west. <laughs> Um, uh, of Galaxy's Edge. That whole side of Galaxy's Edge is the Resistance's outpost. Uh, and this is the Resistance Supply. It's just a tiny little open air vendor. They sell uh, resistant themed t shirts, keychains, jackets. C. I was thinking even D. D. It would almost. I didn't count any like portable merch stores on this. Uh, it, it's on par with that. Maybe even E. It is like. You know when you're walking- It's just like one wall of things, right? Like for, you know when you're like walking down downtown Disney and you pass like the sunglass hut and they have like two little stands uh, yeah, with yeah. four sides? It's, it's what it is. Oh, E is good. E is fine. Adventureland. Well, Adventureland has one gift shop and it is the bazaar. Is it bizarre? <laughs> it's pretty bizarre. Original joke. Oh, well, you know how much I love Adventureland and Adventureland's theming kicks into the bazaar, uh, which did shrink a little bit. Part of it turned into uh, a seating area for the Bengal barbecue, which is nothing but good news. Uh, the bazaar still has plenty of merchandise for Indiana Jones, uh, Tiki Room, uh, Adventureland as a whole, as well as plenty of toys, things to do. And then on one end of the store, you could kind of separate it into two stores because at one side they sell like Quicksilver and Vans and, you know, name brand products that you could buy at the mall also. Do what? Well, what do you think? I love Adventureland. One time, I saw a, a mini live-action stunt performance spontaneously of Indiana Jones fighting on the roof of the bazaar. That's fun. That was cool. Out of gift stores that I've spent the most time in, this is up there at the top. Yeah, me too. And I have actually bought more than one product in there, which is more than I can say for most of these. So I'm leaning towards A, just because I am biased. 
We can put it in it. It's yes. Okay. Uh, next, let's go to Fantasyland. Ooh. This is the Small World Toy Shop. It's a small store after all. This toy shop is smaller than this room, and this room is not large. Mm -hmm. It sells a couple Small World exclusive items, uh -huh. I believe. Uh, and then it just sells like toys. Like I think you mentioned saying Polly Pockets. Yeah. Or something in there. It, it, it's just a little tiny toy store. They sell those plastic light up wands that go. Hey, where would you put Toy Store? Uh, well, it's cute and tiny, and it's got cute toys and small world things. I've uh, literally never had the desire to buy anything in there, though. Well, me and my sister have bought lots of toys in there. Whoa. So really, that's what makes me like it more and want to put it in B. But I think realistically, probably C. It's so small that C is probably probably the way to go. What's next? Let's do another Main Street. Main Street. We got to get through those. We got the Disney Clothiers. Clothiers. L T D. Oh no, oh. you're gonna want to hit the un. Yeah. Okay. You're in uh, charge. <laughs> Disney Clothiers L T D. Uh, is a store on Main Street yes. where they sell clothes. Wow. I don't really tend to buy souvenirs in the park unless I know for sure. What I like to do when I go to Disneyland is the day before the parks, I go to Downtown Disney, I look all the way through the world of Disney. Yes. And I, I take note of what I like, uh -huh. and then I go in the parks. If there's anything I see in the parks that I could buy in World of Disney, I don't buy it in the parks. I buy it last thing before I leave in World of Disney so you don't have to carry it around or whatever. If it's a park exclusive, then yeah, but Disney Clothiers LTD, I think is all you can get it elsewhere. It can be D, it's fine. What about you? Where do you buy your souvenirs? In the park or out of the park? The video is not over. That's the question to comment at the oh, end of the video. There's more, okay. Uh, then let's go back to Galaxy's Edge. Yes, because there's quite a few of these, and we gotta do them all. This is the first orger or orger gurger. Why can't you pronounce Star Wars things? It's just so They're alien. They're in English. It's so alien. I just can't do it. This is the first order cargo. It's essentially the exact same thing as the Resistance Supply, but on the other side where the, the first order has taken Let's over. Let's put it in the E with the other one. Okay. I think that one's actually inside. It's more of an actual store, but it's tiny. It's like this big. Wow. That's great. What's next? Main Street again, gotta get through them. Candy Palace. Yes, yes, S, S, This S. is why Main Street smells amazing. Yes. There's a bathroom nearby, and you can watch people make candy. And you can buy candy, and you can eat it. You can? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, uh, I love the Candy uh, Palace. Let's do another. This yes. is the Silhouette Studio. Yes. Have you ever done this, guys? Have you ever done if it? If you haven't done this, you need to do it. You sit down. It's a little room. It's like a room that's the size of a of like a porta potty. It's so tiny. Yeah, it's so tiny. And you sit down, and you could get a, a. There's a lady there. I don't know who's there. Maybe it's a man sometimes too. But the lady that we saw has been there for so long. Didn't years. She is the she, same lady. She was there when Walt was there, wasn't she? She's been there forever. I don't know. Something like that. But she's the same lady that uh, did my family's silhouettes when I was like twelve. And let's talk about doing silhouettes. She takes a piece of, of black paper, uh, you sit sideways to her so she could see your portfolio. Is that right? No. <laughs> so she could see your side view. What is it called? <laughs> I don't know, is it not portfolio? No. Uh, well, so she, she could see you sideways. And, um, I'm gonna go crazy. Hold on. You look it up, and I'll keep telling about what it is. Uh, and she cuts paper so it matches what you look like from the side. And they put it in a frame, and you buy it. Uh, and it's amazing because it's a really good custom piece of, of Disney merch that is exclusive towards towards you. Uh, it's a picture of you. You can document your family. I'm trying to stall here so you can uh, find it. Uh, and also, it is cool and unique. And the lady who does it, the people who do it, are insanely talented they do it so fast i tried to do one when we got home and it didn't look good so i can't do it pause what's the word pause i can't find it what is the word called profile yes <laughs> hold on wait where's she she just straight up left I don't, 
I don't... I mean... I got nothing. She just straight up left. Profile. Yeah, it's 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 profile. Portfolio. Yeah, it's not portfolio. It's it's profile. Hi, welcome back. Oh, you actually got one, and she took it out of the frame. Um, but here's what it is. They make it look so nice. This is me, and this is Aurora. <laughs> Profile. Profile. Hey, let's go back to New Orleans Square. This is the store where they sell perfume. Oh, my favorite store. I I don't care. This is for somebody. I like that it fits the French Quarter New Orleans style thematically. It's cool. I don't care. I'm a man though. What do you think? I have never had the desire to buy perfume in Disneyland. Cause it's like two hundred dollars a bottle. Let's do the Toontown Gag Factory. Gag Factory. They sell stuff. They sell stuff. And things. And things. I don't know if any of it's really exclusive to the no, Gag Factory. No, it's absolutely not. It's just knickknacks and odds and ends. Uh, they sell hats. They sell pins. They yeah. sell keychains. They sell all the souvenir type things yeah. that you want. It's a good full size souvenir store. I'm going to put it in B because I like the theming of it, yeah. but the stuff is not fantastic. I think that is fair. Uh, I enjoy it. Me too. We gotta go back to Main Street. Why do you have Wait, two silhouettes? Silhouette Studios? Studios here again. Shh. Okay. This one. This one is the 20th century music company. I think it's mostly a pins trader store. Uh, Why is it called the so music company? So I've heard. I think they also sell uh, soundtracks to Disney movies, though. So. I guess it's well, just a pin store. I don't we care. We put this art one here. So E even. E. E or move Disneyana up to C. Yeah. You know, because I Disneyana, you can walk around that. Yeah, I can, At like, least I can go and admire the art yeah. there. You're gonna go here. Yeah. I think that is good. Yeah. Good call. Ooh, I got one. Yeah. Giant white square. Mm, mm. Uh, I'm gonna do one more Galaxy's Edge. Uh, and this, if you're a big fan of Galaxy's Edge, you might yell at me. If you're sick of all the Galaxy's Edge stores... Go yell at Disney because they made them all. No, you'll actually be happy about my choice here. I put the whole Black Spire Marketplace oh. as as one. Okay. Uh, this is a big open-air market. It's thematically one of the most heavily themed, most well-themed places in Disneyland. I, I'm really impressed with the Black Spire Market as a whole. It has four shops in it. If I was to rank these shops individually, they'd all be much lower because I wouldn't buy anything. There is the Creature Stall, which sells uh, plush aliens and, and plastic aliens and has like, I think like an animatron and like, it looks like a, someone's selling a bunch of illegal alien pets. Okay, that's it, fun. It's pretty fun. I like that. Uh, there's the Toy Dairy and Toy Maker. This store's weird. They sell like handmade puzzles and music boxes and, and things. Cool. Uh, there's Black Spire Outfitters, which is a pretty traditional uh, Star Wars merchandise store. Okay. And there is the Jewels of Bith, which sells pins and keychains and tote bags and hats and things of that nature. I think as a whole, put it in S. I was thinking A or S. The thing is, as cool as the theming is, I don't think, I, I was looking through these, looking for something to buy when I went to Galaxy's Edge, because I was like, I want a piece of this. This place is so cool. I didn't want anything, uh, but I did really enjoy my time looking but around. But you're not like a Star Wars super fan. And there's fan. like a bathroom right there. I think you're right. S. How about Fancy Them? This is another Mad Hatter location, just like the one on Main Street. Okay. Uh, but it is, I think the theming's it better. It's right so by Alice. So small, better theming, different hats. Yeah. They it, have hats there that are not at the other one, I believe. I think you might be right. I don't know for sure. You're right, it's tiny. Where did we put the... We put this other one in D. I would put this one in C just because the theming, being right next to Alice in Wonderland... It's better. Is better. Um, Is there another Main Street we can get? Yeah, the Main of? Street uh, Photo Supply is this one here. This is a little store. It's a souvenir store in a sense. It's a little different. Uh, it's where you could buy prints of your PhotoPass images. Ooh. I believe they also sell some cameras and, and things of the sort there. Ooh. Something about phone charging. I don't know if you can rent those portable chargers or if they actually charge your phone in the store. Store there. It's just kind of stuff. Stuff. Related to picture taking. D. D. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty good. I think that's very, very fine. Frontierland. Frontierland. This is the Westward Trading Co. I believe this is one of, if not the biggest pin traders. Ooh in the park, so if you're into pins, this is a good place for you. A. And the theming is just kind of whatever. B. I was gonna say B. 
Yeah. I'm not even that much into pins nowadays. I like pins. Okay, B, I'm fine with B. Let's do another Main Street. This is the China Closet. They just sell glassware, I think, and s as well as some other stuff. Uh, most notably, this store is the one that has the front porch with chairs on Main Street. Aww. And if you can snag a seat on that bench, life is good. Life is good. Life is good. Uh, I would probably never buy anything in there. No, I was just going to drop it to D. Yeah, that's fine. Precious, though. Another, Precious. Another store I could walk in and yeah. look at things. Uh, let's take our last fantasy one out of town, out to pasture, out no, to... No, don't kill it. Oh, okay. Take it to the board. Um, this <gasps> is... The Royal Reception, a fairly new store, I think 2017. It's a tiny little boutique that sells only Beauty and the Beast things. Wow. I don't recall ever going in there when the last time I went. So... It's cute theming, but I also don't care again, you know, like... Do you think... Well, I guess it is on par with those, like, Star Wars right. only ones. It's Beauty it's and just, the Beast only. It, cute building. For somebody, it's great. For me, I... E is good. E is fine. This one is Crystal Darling. This another is another crystals. crystal glass store. Uh, uh, this one I is one that I can actually picture because like that's the one that you always want to walk in in New Orleans because it's yeah, got all because it catches your eye. Really pretty crystal. And you're right in the heart of the French yeah, Quarter. Yeah, yeah. There, it's it's. Cool. I never buy anything. Once again, I mean maybe someday, but there's expensive crystal things. I think. But if I you like put to look at it. Perfume and F though. This can be no higher than D. Well, where did we put the e. other crystal shop? I don't think we've done it yet. Yeah, we haven't done it yet. Oh, E is fine. E is fine. So while we're on that, let's Main Street Crystal Shop, same yeah. deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the store command, Buzz Lightyear store command. That's a I cute get name. it. <laughs> I get it. This is one of the only gift shops that you're forced to walk through to exit Buzz Lightyear. And you're I not hate even. that. There's actually a, a way I'm out, just I just realized. Yeah, they sell Buzz Lightyear, Toy Story stuff, plastic things and toys. And lots of pins. Lots of pins Pins there. and merch. They sell, you know, I, I'm, lots of these other stores probably do the same, but for some reason, this is the store where my family buys the DVC member exclusive things. Oh, okay. Yeah, I hadn't even thought about that. I'm not part of that world, usually. Part of your world. I want to be where the DVC members are. Now I am, I live here. Um, so this is better than Star Traders for sure, but Absolutely. I still don't. I mean, it's fine. I'd maybe Put C. It in C or D. I, I could be swayed either way. Uh, it's got a lot of toys. It's like a toy it's store. It's a toy store. And I like toys. You put the small world one in C, so this one has to be in C too. Okay. Uh, let's do magic on Main Street, Main Street Magic Store. Rumor has it they sell like little magic tricks and, and card decks and stuff here. I Wait. feel like this is the one within the window has that swirling thing, optical illusion. You know I, about this store? Yes, I I go in the magic store and they sell magic tricks. I've never seen them. We need to go in the magic store. Okay. It's not a fantastic store. It's no. a little, it just sells little magic tricks that anyone can do. So it's fine. Okay. Put it in C or D. Like D. No, not B. A D. D. Yeah, that's where it is. <laughs> Let's grab Frontierland's Pioneer Mercantile. This is a uh, kind of Western wear. You know, they have some uh, my favorite clothes. leather jewelry. They have some Western apparel and hats, uh, but they also have some more normal merchandise as well. Some artwork, some candy. It's just kind of a gift shop in that Frontierland theme. I like it. It makes That's me think fine. of the bazaar in Adventureland. It's it's very similar to the bazaar, just uh, the frontier but I just style. care less. Put in B. I was gonna say B. Yeah, B works. B works fine with me. Three more to go. Woo! Market House. This is Starbucks. They also sell some unique limited cups to Disneyland. I find myself buying something in there every time I go. Because it's Starbucks. But it's Starbucks. Honestly, it probably deserves to be in D, but I'm gonna put it in C just for the happy memories I associate with it. I agree. And it's amazing how fast that Starbucks is. Yeah, they're They could sell good like there. three trillion people in, in it's still a long line, but man, they're they're really quite they're good. They're good. Galaxy's Edge, please just get the it done. final Galaxy's Edge. This is Doc Onder's Den of Antiques, maybe the coolest gift store I've ever been in, with the least things I've ever wanted to buy. Ooh! This picture right here is an animatronic guy who's like a bank teller or merchant or whatever in the gift store. Cool. The theming is just way over the top. There's Easter eggs. There's 
uh, gadgets and gadsmos and, and just things and limited things, like collectible things to buy in there. I like that. As well as light, you could buy like uh, Luke Skywalker's lightsaber or whatever. For $200. It may be. It might be a little less because you didn't build it yourself. Or well, more because it's a replica. The way that you're saying it, I want to put it in S because that sounds awesome. It is very cool. For the same reason the marketplace is in S. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, I don't care so much about Star Wars, but man, they did a good job. I think it's very cool. I can't wait for you to see. Yes. Last one, Le Baton Rouge in uh, New Orleans Square. Le Baton Rouge. The Bat and Rouge. This is the dress store. Yeah. I bought dresses here. This store in my mind is always the Nightmare Before Christmas store. Um, and they do have lots of like gothic trinkets and stuff up on the shelves. The theming is very uh, New Orleans gothic. <laughs> But, they have yeah. a dress store that all those Disney themed dresses are in there, which is awesome. But then they went ahead and put the dress store called, I'm pretty sure it's called the, the dress, dress store, store or, oh, yeah. or something like it in downtown Disney. And it's a bigger building. And I think it's got more of the same items. Still so, gotta say though. It's really pretty in there. It's got really good dresses. Theming is great. Yep. And the... This place sells, I mean, yes, you could get in downtown Disney too now. Uh, I think it is some of the coolest Disney merchandise ever. Yeah, uh, I love those things in there. Maybe I'll even put up some pictures of the stuff here because it is dresses and, and sweaters and, and handbags and whatnot that are themed so directly from Disney attractions. Yes. Like, why doesn't Disney get, want. that's all I want. Tiki Room stuff, Haunted Mansion stuff, Parts of the Caribbean stuff. It's freaking cool. Small World stuff. Yep. You can put on your body and wear it. Yeah, I it's think it's good, good, good. I put an A just because yeah. I love it. It's good, good stuff. And it's cute in there. Yeah. And we've done it. We've done it. There we go. Uh, I'm not going to run through them all because you just watched it. Uh huh. But there is our tier list all the gift shops in Disneyland. We might have missed something or other, but I think we were pretty thorough. Yeah, I think so. Uh, hopefully, you kind of agreed with what we said. What's your think? What is it? your number? What's you think? What's you think? What's your number one favorite? I'm going. I'm going, babe. Okay, I'm just okay, going to do it. Do it. What is your number one favorite store in Disneyland? Yes. Where do you normally buy your souvenirs is another question. Like I mentioned earlier, do you buy them in the park or do you buy them at World of Disney? When your trip's over. Where's your favorite store in California Adventure? We could do this whole video again. In California Adventure. But until then, there'll be several other Disneylanders and I'll see you in those. You better be excited. You better. Lots of cool stuff coming up. I've been manic with uh, new ideas for the channel uh, and I'm very excited for what is coming so thanks for watching salutations <laughs> I'm glad I could be here see y'all later thanks for joining my pleasure bye Goodbye. Goodbye.